What do you say to people who complain that today's generation doesn't care about cars? Um, I don't. I don't believe that, and I don't think it stands up. I think it's different. Of course it is, but so is music. Have you heard the crap they listen to? Good crap. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I mean, young. What are they really? Um, so it's going to be expressed differently. Of course it is. As soon as my, my eldest daughter is, as soon as she passed her driving test, 17, which is the age you can in the UK, she just took off. <laughs> And the car initially for her symbolised freedom. It wasn't about the car, it was about what she could do with it and where she could go. Actually, she's now discovering a latent passion for the machine that facilitates all of those things, which I think more and more people will do. I think it'll be different, of course it will. I, I've just discovered in the UK, for instance, the kind of car modding your own car. I thought that died out with my generation. I'm 54, and I thought we were the last generation to sort of cover your car in glue and drive it through an, an auto shop and stick bits to it. But actually it's massive and blossoming and booming. Social media is sharing vast amounts of content on it. People are spending fortunes modifying their precious rights. So it's still there, it's just different. The problem is if those running the industry, supplying them, lose contact with what they're doing and what they want, we're left with this bleak landscape or the idea of one. But it isn't that. There's still a passion for it and there always will be. Don't worry, we'll probably all still be in business 10 years from now. <laughs> probably. <laughs>